please welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. You know, I still can't believe that we're fighting robot wars. The fifth wars. In fact, people are building robots quicker than we can destroy them. And we can't have that now, can we? <laughs> so, do you want to mangle some metal? Yeah, you'd better get building, because the demolition goes on. Jonathan, who are this week's wonders? Thanks, Craig, and welcome to the war zone to everyone else. As always, eight robots waiting patiently in the pit, so let's see how they line up for round one. Good matchup to start with the experienced Wheelie Big Cheese against the sinister Wolverine Axel we've seen before. Granny's Revenge, wait till you see her. Then it's Robo Chicken Evo, improved from the last wars against newcomers Crustacean. And finally, Beer Moth, aiming for the stars, but will the supernova burst the dream? It's a comic book caper in the pits tonight. Big Cheese's revenging Granny's and robotic chickens. Has the world gone mad? No, just the pits. Back and tip for the top this year is Bear Moth, only ranked 15, but their lifting shovel is superb. And they've even thrown in a couple of choppers for good measure. Last time around, they were unlucky against Exterminator in the heat final. This year, who knows? And we mustn't forget the return of Robo Chicken. Okay, maybe not the most destructive of robots, but it does look great. And last year, they stood up well to Pussycat until they fell foul of the cat and lost their head. Roger Plant is back in the pits with his wheelie big cheese. But with a flipper that got him into the semi last time around, this cheese is no stinker. What are you want, Tyler? Yes. You're up against wheelie big cheese is pitted against Wolverine. Yes. How do you feel about that? Oh, all right. Not bothered. So you can say all right when your robot can flip a mini metro, can't you? Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. The good news is that you made it, you made it to Robot Wars, you're through to fight in the battle. And the bad news is that you're up against Wheelie Big Cheese for your first ever Robot Wars battle. Yeah, is not, that really bad? Uh, it's bad for us, he's just one big flipper. Mm. Uh, hopefully we were going to get something else, but all we've got is him. Okay, so you, how are you going to deal with it? Uh, well, if you flip him over, he comes back, he works both ways up. Yeah. The only way I can get rid of him is take his wheels out, or hopefully he will lose the drive, uh, drive gear. Okay. So ramming. Ramming. And ramming from the side. That's yep. what you're going to be in the aiming side. for. In the side. Look out for that. If they're doing that, they're doing well. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Let the wars begin! From Langport, Wheelie Big Cheese. That's a big titanium flipper. They can flip a small car, they think. The wheels have spikes. Semi-finalists in Series 4. They have experienced speed and could here get the victory port salute from us all. From Swanley, Wolverine. Low and flattish with a front lifter plough, can lift railway sleepers, was a reserve for a previous series. Now steps into the spotlight, the floodlight, ooh, uh, the moonlight for Wolverine. Roboteers, stand by. The Wheelie Big Cheese team, Roger Plant, John McGuggan and Murray Wharf, and Gareth Dean and John Reason with Wolverine. In the arena for the house robots, the claws, the lance, the invincible circular lot. And fighting alongside our Knight of the Realm, Shunt with the axe and the scoop and the huge pushing power. Three, two, one. Really big cheese, semi-finalists in the last series, beaten by Tornado, a very good machine, side by side with Wolverine, you can see there the front lifting scoop of Wolverine, but really big cheese, they say this is the biggest flipper in Robot Wars, made of titanium, durable, menacing, you can see there the little studs on the wheels to protect them, a really big cheese. Roger Plant, the designer and operator, very experienced. Tagged onto the arena side wall. There, though, by Wolverine! And Wolverine are over and out! Oh dear, Gareth Dean and John Reason. There's no reasoning with an attack like that by Wheelie Big Cheese. Look at this. In underneath. And over they go. A 
Zero ground clearance from Wolverine, but somehow Wheelie Big Cheese got in underneath. Brilliant stuff. You see that? Wolverine on his back and baying at the moon. Wheelie Big Cheese, they go through. I'll tell you what, I mean, that was a very impressive start. Well, we're hoping. We've worked, done a lot of work on it since last year. Yeah. Yeah. What have you done? It's bigger motors, it's a much faster flipper. How strong is it? I mean, what can it lift? It can, in, by calculation, it can lift a ton. Okay. And by practice, it can flip over a mini metro. It can flip over a mini metro. And you've actually done that, have you? Yeah. It's 800 kilos a mini metro. It's it's bad, straight it? over, yeah. Do you think you can go all the way this time? Well, we always think that. I know, but something always goes wrong and it all gets pants. Well, that happens to everybody, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. It's called Robot Wars. It's called Robot Wars. That's yeah. what it's all about, and that's yeah. why we love it. Ladies and gentlemen, Wheelie Big Cheese! What a start. Wheelie Big Cheese tossing Wolverine out of the arena. Axor next up against Granny's Revenge. Granny's Revenge is slightly warped, isn't it? Who came up with the idea? Well, we all came up with the idea. We just wanted something different, so that stand out from the other robots. Well, you certainly got that, and you've got the height. Yeah, that's helpful too. And there's something hidden underneath those skirts, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Well, the legs uh, pack a bit of a kick when there's, there's a cylinder underneath. Yeah, I'm just getting to the granny team. Oh, sad, isn't it? Yeah. Are you going to trash her and mash her? Yeah. Yeah, are you? I suppose so. Um, it's sad, isn't it? I mean, it's a no-win situation. Oh. You either get beaten by an old granny, or we get condemned for beating up an old granny. I know. So. What can you do? Win. That's <laughs> what we're here for. From Charville, Granny's Revenge. like some horror from a Hitchcock movie and this is no sweet old lady watch for the pneumatic flipper as Gran puts the boot in from Langport Similar overall to Iron Ore, which lost in its Series 4 heats. Most parts made from the packaging machinery has an axe and a flipper 8 mile an hour top speed sluggish and the turning circle seems too wide for me Roboteers, stand by. Two family teams here, the Granny's Revenge boys, Trevor Andrew and his sons George and Philip, and Axor, Gilbert and Robert Grimm, and Adrian Moore, their friend. Sergeant Bash has no friends in the arena with its long-range weaponry. And who likes to kill a lot after all? Well, I do, because he's got crushing claws and that piercing lance. Three, two, one. The ref bot looks on and blinks in disbelief as Granny's Revenge wheelchair enters the arena and turns away. It's good to see the blankets on, just to keep you warm, love, out there, OK? Now, don't go too fast. You mustn't stumble over. Axel doesn't know what to do. Uh, well, you've got to be cruel to be kind sometimes, Axel. I think Granny's doing rather well here. She's sort of turning away with the chainsaw. What a nightmare this is. Oh, in comes the flamethrower. Granny's... <laughs> Granny's on fire. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, has she got her teeth in? That's what I want to know. Somewhere down in that pit of doom, you know what's down there, don't you? There's an empty beaker with some teeth in it. All grannies have them. Oh dear. What a rotten end. The Andrew family. Any moment now is another lick of flame from Sergeant Bash. Axe or is going to pick Granny's revenge. <laughs> or is she going to do it herself? Go on, you're going to miss the pension down the post office, love. Got to be out of the arena quickly. Oh, who's got in there with her? The ref box got in! Granny's got hold of the ref box! What a dreadful thought! Granny's revenge is pensioned off! The winner, Axel! What do you think that went? Uh, Open smoke, Axel. <laughs> kind of badly. Why the name Granny's Revenge? 
I don't know, it was a granny and it's revenge for all the other grannies that have lost their wheelchairs to the roboteers who've made other robots out of them. So. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ballistic for granny's revenge. Well, it was asking to be, to be burned, really, wasn't it? It was asking to be burned, really, wasn't it? And um, let's face it, you're not going to have an easier battle, really, are you? Well, I don't know about that. That was actually quite hard work trying to do a mercy killing after the poor old deer caught fire. Are you feeling confident? Mm, slightly. All right. Hey, let's go hell for leather for Axor!